little clock in our time, which is why we say four, so we're rolling fully by 4.30. Yeah. I'm so glad everybody's here. I'm so glad that you can make it. I'm so glad that we have the children that we do up here. Um, they're all pretty nervous because we actually have been doing this for eight days. Uh, it's kind of scary, but like I reminded them, the reason we do this is to get together and have fun and to celebrate Christmas. It's not to make a perfect production or to do the most amazing work of our lives. It's to get together and celebrate with people you really enjoy and maybe get to know someone you don't know as well and go on from there. So, having said that, it's getting quieter, so I think we're close. <laughs> There I am, Casey, thank you. At one point in the show, we will have you light candles. The gentleman will come from behind and help with this. And then um, at that point, we're all going to sing together on cue, of course, which you will see from me. And if you don't know the words to Silent Night, there are hymnals on every table, and it is page 65. So if you would like to get that ready, that's just fine too. We're just going to sing the first verse, and we'll sing it twice through together. But, before we begin our show, in this wonderful room that's so full of love, I say we start with a Christmas carol. So, children, you ready to sing back there, too? Okay? All right, ready? We're just going to do one that's going to be pretty much what everybody knows, so. Oh, come on, ye
Ladies and gentlemen, your neighborhood target will be closed in 15 minutes. We're open seven days a week for your shopping convenience. And as always, thank you for shopping at Target.
because of the top of the <laughs> I told the space that we had mantis and costumes on Center Island today. I accept your apology. Oh, uh, hey, this is Biff. <coughs> and this is Frank. I'm the painter. Biff, dude, long time to see. Frank, what's up? Yes, yeah. You gentlemen know each other? Know each other? We're like tight, dude. Yeah. yeah. I am not a dude, Mr. Sun Cat. I think they locked up. Oh, great. Cookie's here. I mean, greetings, Cookie. <laughs> oh, dude, we heard you had, like, a nervous breakdown there in the cookie mouth. No. Turn, they took me to the shop. Turns out I had a screw loose. Boy, did you have to do something to scare you now? No, I'm a whole new man now. Nothing scares me. Dude, you hear what I hear?
Chinese have a stove? I think it's burglars? I don't know, there's one way to find out. <laughs> What's that? So listen to us, we just got off the end and this is a way we can hear things going on inside the stove. <laughs> well, there's some guy named Manuel. He must be a part of that hombre because there's a bunch of hostages. And you're talking about, I heard some girls talking, and I heard some other people talking about how much profit they're going to make. It's a profit. It's a robbery, all right. Should we bust in? Well, maybe we ought to wait. Now, if they take, we bust in, we might take the girls as hostages. Okay, no need to hurry. This thing is turning nice and slow. Let's go over Thank you. 
say from here on out, we are so free rolling. <laughs> we have never put this all together. <laughs> Thank you, Deputy. Now that the store manager 
Tom Ebenezer. Mr. Ebenezer, we have been told about the deputies have heard discussions about Jesus, angels, and Mary all coming from the sword. That's impossible. We keep, we try very hard to keep religion out of prison. <laughs> How do you do that? Well, it's not easy. But we at Target are committed to communicating the real, <laughs> the real meaning of the holidays. It's about buying shopping. Know that you can save forty percent throughout the entire store. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think is at the store now, Deputy? Well, it's coming around the time now when we're going to have to end this situation and bust in. So, what's your next move, Deputy? Well, I guess we're just going to have to break in now. <laughs>
seen all season. Who would have thought of including Mimi Kinsey's everyday people? It's brilliant. It represent, helps represent everyday people of being part of the Christmas miracle. Do you mind if I did a story on it? Uh, well, Andy, uh, we tried, what is it? Yeah. 
system. A bird play in progress? I think not. This is Candy Little, morning for everyone here, saying Merry Christmas to all. And do you hear what I hear? Maybe we should have had one more. But anyway, he's been 
right because he not only makes sure that he gets here, he makes sure that a lot of other the kids get here too. He's old enough to drive now, and so he could bring them with him. So it was really, I really rely on him, and I really appreciate him. Thank you. Now, 
now, Jordan Meyer. Yeah. So I don't look down anymore. Jordan is just like this wonderful, steady presence. <laughs> that, you know what? The show would have a huge hole if he wasn't a part of it. And every year I just celebrate him being here with us. Thank you, Jordan. here because you just always do Garrett Brown. <laughs> Another one who used to be this tall who's now this tall. Garrett is the guy who says, no, I'm not going to be in this Christie, and I hand him a part. And who had his lines memorized? Garrett. But he does a good job tonight, and I really appreciate having Garrett here. Thanks, Garrett. So probably, boy, that belt was tough for you. Yeah. So another part of the tall squad that I think of them, Jordan, uh, Josh Meyer. Thank you so much, Jacob. So let's see. Oh, we must have my kid, Jonathan. Okay. Jake and John are first cousins, and all through it's always Jake and John, Jake and John, Jake and John. And you know, you watch them on stage, and it's Jake and John. They just dance and they sing and they have a good time, and they're so much fun. And you know, it's always fun being with your own kid. So. And, you know, it's hard sometimes being the kid of the director person, but it's all good. So, thank you, John, for being a part of this. So, the next person we have, uh, no matter what role she plays, she says, Mom, I want to wear sequins. I want to spark balls. I know you know who this is, Jess Yeller. Okay, really, you know, every year I have to find a play with something like this in it. <laughs> but we do well. Jessica's got a lot of talent. She brings it to the stage always. And we just love having her. She's a great person. She's good to have around for the rest of the cast. And I really appreciate having you around. So let's see. I think I have a couple kids left. Am I right? No. Okay. I'm just double checking to make sure I know. Four, right? Okay. So we have this year. And she was a friend of somebody too. And it was so exciting to have her. We loved her. And we just can't wait to have her back. We love her back. <laughs> Mia is one of those people who lights up her room. And she did that every time she joined us. So I'm so glad. So now if you guys don't like I know you couldn't be a part of the production.
direction, but there's really a hole without you. Brittany Fednick, thank you for coming. A wonderful person and we're glad to have her with us and she just had a lot of fun backstage so I think it's only fitting the last two we have are kind of like a Jake and John they are a dynamic duo they play off each other like no one else they can really finish each other's sentences even maybe they decide to talk sometimes they just communicate other ways oh not always appropriately no. <laughs> girls and they I've known them for years now and you know what they're just rays of sunshine to everyone and I'm really glad that every year they come back. Erica and Cassidy Magnificent food here. We have two other people we have to thank. Uh, one, he had the very first line of the play this year, which almost never happens. So, a big thanks to Casey Schmidt on soundboard and lights over there. And, as we said earlier, some of this came together only a week ago. And we could not have done any of this without Chris Yellow as a director. She does a fantastic job keeping us all together. So just a little bit of